Hello and welcome to this behind-the-scenes video or audio, if you're listening on the podcast, all about how we make awesome astronomy. So yeah, usually we are bringing you the latest and greatest space stories, but no, we're being totally selfish this time. It's all about us. And it's, it's kind of presaged by the fact that for once, well, for two and a half years, we've not been in the studio, but yeah. we're back now. We're back. You know? we're back. We're all yeah. back. It's we're post COVID. Back. Everything's back now. So yeah. we can get back in the studio. And it's so nice being back in the studio. And, and it's been 10 years. Yes. Of course it has. It's, it's our anniversary. Exactly. So it's, it's self-indulging in all <laughs> sorts of ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're back. Yeah. And um, for everybody that's been complaining about the quality of the audio, hopefully this should be better as well, because, I mean, John will tell us, uh, we'll, we'll do a tour of the mixing desk in a short while and the equipment. But, you know, we've got proper studio equipment now. Yeah. It's yeah. If, if you noticed a drop off in about, about two and a half years ago, this is why. <laughs> this is how we used to do it. In fact, if you want to know, this is pretty much what we use. It's a DR05 yeah. from Tascam. Um, and they're very cheap plasticky recorders but they're incredibly good yeah. recording quality and they've just got fantastic little microphones on them that work really well and you know you can plug microphones into them as well um how much does this one cost john this is a quality microphone that's probably more expensive than the recorder itself isn't it John he's, is he's staring in the ears. <laughs> yeah, and nodding. He's not, he's not going to tell us. <laughs> yeah, and like to help with soundproofing, I get I always get a little blanket and I roll it up and then I nestle my recorder yeah. in the top of the blanket just to kind of cushion some of the sound. And it's amazing. <laughs> it works really well, doesn't it? Well, not as well as in here. No, but, I mean, yeah. I'm not, yeah. my little six pound <laughs> as the blanket is not so, going to compete. I've, I've got all the cushions, the pillows yeah. everywhere, <laughs> and trying, to, trying to kind of cushion it out and just pad mm. it out. Make sure there's nothing reflective near the microphone. Yeah, no flat walls yeah. and stuff like that, isn't it? I record in a, a really small study room. Um, so I've bought some kind of um, panels like this. Well, not like this. They're nowhere near as thick as this because the <laughs> thickness is the, the real quality of of uh, you know sound absorption but in here it's just so much better there's even panels you don't know if you can see them on any of the video but there's panels on the roof there's panels all around the side everywhere on, on the door even on yeah. the glass door that's yeah. behind the camera there and it's just so nice to be back in and, and you know to be back as a group again as well yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nice because we when we record remotely we do it we have a whatsapp going so we can see each other mm. but it's just so much nicer actually yeah. being in yeah. a room together yeah. we can like know where each other's going a lot better and we can riff off each other yeah. and it's just totally different vibe isn't it yeah it is it is yeah. it is it is it is oh, that smells in here <laughs> that's ralph <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> i'm sorry but I i'm used to my own smells over the last couple of years I I it's like it it's different yeah <laughs> and when we're recording at home we don't have to wear headphones either no 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 just one just one little one little thing in your ear just just to make sure yeah. Sorry, you wait till I'm away from the console before you start asking me questions. So, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Uh, I can't remember what you showed me. Uh, probably 150 quid, the, the first one, yeah. So the recorder's about 80 quid, the microphone's about 150 quid. But, uh, you know, they are fantastic anyway, yeah. and that's, that's mm. kind of the stuff that we record on normally, um, or we have been doing during COVID, uh, but now we're back in the studio. Got much better equipment. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So I think in honour of 10 years, 10 years, ten, maybe ten we should years. go back to the beginning. Rewind. Oh, like, yeah, we need like that Misty, wobbly, wobbly like, effect and, now. And I, I get sideburns and yeah. <laughs> so, flares. This is where we say, Dustin, can you do some wibbly wobbly <laughs> video <Yeah. laughs> for YouTube? <laughs> And talk about how it all began. At the same time, on the count of three, go left, right, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, so ten years. So, um, well, actually, there was only one of us that was here ten years ago. God, yes. Oh, is it not you? It's Ralph. No, yeah, not me. It was me because it was uh, it was Tom and me that started yeah. Awesome Astronomy up. Uh, Tom Kurz, who is now I think he's still at the Royal Astronomical Society, isn't he? Is no, it, no, Royal you know he's freelancing Greenwich. now. Oh, he's right. Yeah, he was at uh, Greenwich, wasn't he? Yeah. He was what Greenwich. we ought to do is see if we can get an interview with him, see what he's been doing over yeah, the past 10 yeah. years. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, we started it up and we had a hard deadline just to make sure that we actually did go through with it of May 2012. Hmm. And yeah, I think, no, sorry, April 23rd it was that, that we brought it out. We, had, we were going to make sure it came out before May. Um, and we had no idea what we were going to do, but we made sure that we got something that was nice and interesting um, for 
uh, for an interview. So we made sure that we, we got uh, Patrick Moore, so Patrick Moore, uh, yeah. on the show for the very first episode to interview him. Sadly, that turned out to be uh, Patrick Moore's very last audio interview. Yeah, uh, yeah as it, it turned did. out, because he died not long after that. Sadly. But what an accolade for awesome yeah, astronomy well, to have. Well, you know yeah. I mean? are, we saying, are we saying awesome astronomy killed Patrick Moore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the final story. Was, I'm not sticking around yeah. for this. If, if this is what... <laughs> If this is what media is now, <laughs> I, I don't want any part oh. of this. <laughs> yeah. And then I think we did something like 10 episodes or something. I came in on episode on. 11. Yeah, episode yeah. 11. So episode that 11. Was, so, and that was when we were doing one episode a month, I think. So yeah, just that about. would have been just and been a bit the And there had been a gap, hadn't there? There was a gap, I think, of uh, where you didn't record something for a couple of months. And then it was, was yeah. And then... Oh, that doesn't sound like my OCD. Yeah. And, gap. And, then, and then I came in. And... We were recording it in your house. Oh, with... my God. Yeah, because <laughs> audio quality is absolutely everything. Yeah. I mean, you'll know this, that, you know, you know when, when things don't mm. sound right. And at the time, we were getting kind of like, I don't know, yeah, these kind of like sponge foams and putting them around box. the inside of cardboard boxes. And oh, then pretty think, much yeah. sticking our heads and in them had, with a microphone. We had the microphone in the, the box. Back. And, and then basically your head was inside yeah. the box. Like that, and like, yeah. like with the microphone like this, wasn't it? Yeah. All, all kind of in. And we couldn't even see each other. We'd like looking around the corner, yeah. <laughs> two boxes, like, no. and it worked. Uh, yeah. Ish. <laughs> I mean, it was better than nothing. Yeah. You tried everything. You, you hung sheets from the ceiling, yeah. duvets, duvet, tried, yeah. You know, just just trying to put so much padding around, just trying. Oh, it was it was it was quite weird because I'd get around to your house and be like, "Is it just get in this room? There's, there's duvets out. And yeah, <laughs> sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey! <laughs> what kind of recording session is this, Ralph? <laughs> yeah, like, the recording session was just purely incidental, yeah. <laughs> and, and we'd have to be quiet at certain times because we could hear uh, cars going past yeah, or sirens because yeah. we were recording yeah. in London so <coughs> crikey, it, crikey it's the Rosers that's yeah. where it all came from every five minutes <laughs> exactly, to be a police yeah. car <laughs> <laughs> we'll record that bit again <laughs> yeah and because uh, the first time that we recorded um, when it was Tom and me we tried multiple different studios so a place where my wife used to work at the College University of Law They'd got a, a recording booth for some of the training materials they did. So mm. we tried it in there, but it was so small. It was so hot. It was like, we can't go in there again. We mm. can't do another yeah. hours of recording. And then we tried somewhere that was like a recording place within a youth centre, but then there were kids all outside in the estate that were kicking balls at the wall. And it was, <laughs> that, was that didn't work. Yeah. So yeah. then it was heading boxes. And <laughs> heading boxes at your place. Yeah. 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 We, yeah we tried all sorts of things, didn't we? we just, it, was, it was this just trial and error. It was great fun. Yeah. But, yeah. And, and that went on. And then. John delivered. John became our savior. I'd like to point in at this point. Ten years they've been doing this, and they're talking about mic technique and quality of recording, and still they're all just like going, "I'll talk." (laughs) 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 Sounds great. (laughs) Is this audio not working then, John? They've not improved in the two and a half years (laughs) they've been away from the studio. I think we need lav mics. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to talk into a microphone. Ah, you said. Sorry, John. <laughs> the microphone, not a magic wand. And, you know, I was so resistant as well when you said, you know, we've mm. got a studio. Do you want to come and use the studio? I was like, well, you know, this is a thing. You know, we get together at my house, yeah, we have some drinks, yeah, yeah. we stick our heads in boxes. You know, and then, a routine. And then it turns out that we could. Drink beer in here and order yeah. order Chinese takeout, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> actually, it's really good microphone. So it was brilliant, and uh, it, it, it it just went for years. Yeah, and then COVID happened. Well, no, then, no, then, no. Then, well, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Happened before. Rewind, then. rewind, yeah. rewind, rewind, rewind. Because how long did Tom stick around for? Well, it must have been eleven months. Yeah, yeah, it was just just under the first year. So just in 2012. Yeah. So then it was you two. Yeah. Then it was us two. Yeah, and then I, we well, we did Astral Camp. You, yeah, didn't and we? You were doing some talks at Astro Camp, and That's then right. you came on to be interviewed for the show, didn't you? you yes, did. I came on as a guest. You yeah. did, you did, yeah. You did, and you as recorded an from Cardiff. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, we, I went down I into we, the studio. We did a link in... here, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, we went down... yes, that's right. We, yeah. You were being beamed in here. I can't remember yeah. what was it about. Something to do with galaxies. Yeah. Yeah. It was some, yeah. There was some big story, wasn't there, in the in the news at the time? Yeah. And we we got you in and. Yeah, because someone was with you. Who was with you? Um, there was someone else with you who wasn't as good. 
<laughs> I think it was one of the gravitational. That was it. It wasn't galaxies. No, it was gravitational, it was gravitational waves. waves. Of course and it was. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was Seb. Yeah, and we yes. were doing yeah, the big useless. gravitational. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry Seb. Seb. Yeah, <laughs> you probably won't like this video. No, I, I just made it in the recording sense. It's, yeah, it's, we're going but back. um, so we went. Yeah, we went down into Cardiff University used to do um, like the physics of music. So they had a big recording studio down into the basement. So we went down there to record. And then this was after I'd done a couple of talks mm. at Astro Camp. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's where I gave my first ever public talk was Astro Camp. Yeah. I remember, I remember asking you to do it. Yeah. yeah. And I absolutely yeah. crapped my yeah. pants. Yeah. I like, yeah. I can't yeah, do that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, you're a university student. You can do you it. Do you know this. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was when we were still in the pub at Asher Camp. Yeah. We were using yes. the back room of the pub. Yeah. We weren't in the village hall yet. very early days, though. Yeah, 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 yeah very, yeah, very yeah, early yeah. days. It's chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And we but, could only fit about 20 or 30 yeah, this people is, in the pub. We, we yeah. started Astro, a little little diversion. We started Astro Camp, and we, we had this the pub in the village where we, we do Astro Camp. And... We needed somewhere to do the talks. And that was before we discovered there was a village hall down the road that could have yeah. let all 150 people. Um, and But there might be a theme emerging here because at the time I remember thinking, well, we could try something new, but I like what we're doing now. So I was a bit resistant <laughs> yeah. to the change. <laughs> and, and we, and we used the pub and we cleared the restaurant bit. And yeah. it, I mean... It's a tiny room. Yeah, mm. it's not much bigger than the room. We're the sitting publican in the... was not happy at all about having to change things over, change and, the set. And the set, fact that the there were like hundred people in his pub all trying to stuff money in his hands actually <laughs> really annoyed him. Yeah, he did not like that <laughs> for like some that. reason. And he just started saying, "It's chaos." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and that's yeah, that's where you did your first talk. And yeah. then we did the interview link yeah. up here, and we were sitting in here, and you were hundred and fifty miles that way. Mm. And then you, you, I don't know. Don't, we, we just. I can't remember deciding to invite you. It just, it just, it just yeah. kind of happened. Yeah, I, I, I think you being yeah. a very liberal modern man, you decided that it'd be a good idea to have a token female. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Box so, ticker. A, a bit That's of glamour for the podcast. Exactly. Um, exactly. It doesn't matter about didn't well, need any brains or anything. No, no, no. Um, just, 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 just some candy for the yeah. viewers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ear, 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 candy. Have ear candy. Ear candy. <laughs> exactly. Ear candy. Um, With my squeaky Welsh tones. Kind of, kind of how liberal we are in that. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. I. You know. I don't even remember. It just kind of yeah. Yeah, let's get Jenny on. Let's yeah. just get Jenny on, and, and and you just and it just worked. Perfect. It just yeah. worked perfectly. Yeah. yeah, I brought some brains to the operation. It's true. <laughs> it's true. That it's is true. kind of yeah. That's true. true. If you yeah. if you go back, actually, the the, the quality of <laughs> it kind of grounded science. us a little bit as well because I think that we uh, we were deviating a lot from the science and and just trying to make it just purely you know jokey and fun yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, and having you here with the expertise you've got, you know, you still got, you know, a great sense of humour and you bring mm. a lot of humour to this, but it also gave it a lot more of a scientific basis, I yeah. think, as well. Yeah. So that, you know, we've perhaps got a bit more gravitas now and, and a mm. bit more of a I've certainly noticed we've got a lot more of a following from the scientific community as well. And I think that we probably wouldn't have had that if mm. you hadn't have come on board. That's all right, keep it going. That's all right. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> now let's go through your faults. <laughs> Get out the scroll, right. Um. <laughs> But yeah, they, then COVID happened. Yeah, but this is many years down yeah, the road. So we've been years. a trio for yeah, exactly. years now doing this. And and then we've been, yeah, stuck at home yeah. doing it on those things. Yeah, and making a stupid decision to do YouTube as well. So now we've got to have cameras in the room. <laughs> And we've got to think about, you know, you've got to wear makeup. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And we don't because we're and... we're like men. Yeah, we don't so, need yeah, to. We don't yeah. need to. It's yeah. just yeah. naturally beautiful. Yes. Um, uh, and, and getting better looking as we get older as well. It's maturing, maturing, maturing. Really. Yeah. maturing. Yeah. It's, like, it's like George Clooney, Clooney, yeah. clones, Clooney, clones, <laughs> clones, clones, George Clooney's. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even got any beer in this session. <laughs> Hang on. Which is very strange being in the studio not drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's usually a theme as well, and especially some of those early ones where we're just we're just popping the beers. Yeah. And when we used to do a very long recording session, we used to do two two session two. Oh yes, that's yeah. right. Because we used to do when we moved from doing one episode a month to then doing the two and releasing them every fortnight. Yeah. We used to record them at the same Both time together. because we were in the studio and you. Yeah. And oh god, we used to get quite. <sighs> And it was because, hard though because we were there for like four hours. It was exhausting. Yeah. Four hours. Yeah. Four hours. You would think calling. just just talking into microphones. Mm. You know, most of the time just talking shit. But you would think that it would just be easy. But it was so so yeah. exhausting. 
Well, it, it's it's four hours of recording, but of course you've got to turn up before set everything up, mm-hmm. yeah. and then set everything and, and upload everything to all. So it was it was like a sort of five six hour session. Poor old John, he's. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he'd been working here all day, and he was—he was usually sort of dropping dead at midnight. <laughs> You've got to turn up and set things up. Yeah, mm. well, okay. <laughs> John, John has to set everything. It felt like we were doing everything. Yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'd be like, oh, well, I've missed my train home. So <laughs> I've got a sofa to sleep on. I'm sleep with my dog on and, the sofa. And I'm drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, God, it, yeah. So we we got no beer, and we're still. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and still enjoying ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the thing because I think if we stopped enjoying it, we would stop doing it. There'd be no point doing it, would there? Yeah, no, yeah. no. Yeah. But it is amazing that ten years. John on... just walked out at that point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is which is probably wise because when we yeah. used to record this here before, and, and no doubt if we start using it again, um, John would just basically hit record and then he'd have to entertain himself for for a few hours and and then yeah. hit stop. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like. Oh dear, sorry, John. <laughs> so, so that's what. What next? What we? What's what's next on our odyssey of self-reflection and glorification? Well, I thought we'd go through kind of what the process is because mm. you know this might be useful for other people that want to start up podcasts or, or or want to know you know kind of the in-depth process of it because we certainly urge people to do it because you know. It's great we have a, a lot of fun. We doing have this. a lot of fun. It's, yeah, you know, it's certainly been helpful with you career-wise as well. Hasn't oh, it's it? you been know, you, unbelievable. You've started going mm-hmm. more into the media than what I think you probably would have gone down the academic route before, wouldn't you? Whereas now you're yeah. you're more doing media and, and yeah. even you know the app is is a form of media, isn't it? Yeah, um, I mean, we were talking about this earlier. So the BBC do this like women in science communication training program. Yes, mm. uh, and I applied to do it and I didn't get in. And then through doing the podcast, um, someone asked to put me on the the kind of BBC roster of of Mm. experts. And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't think anything's going to come of it. Nothing did for a couple of months. And then I got my first radio call and now I do them all the time. And I've done TV and it's how like Weatherman Walking came about. And so you just never know what's going to come from just doing something that you enjoy. enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. and we've never had any offers being you know handsome mature no, men. No, um, no, no. I just purely do this for yeah. Like, I don't know why I do it actually. For tears, <laughs> for the frustration, yeah. the pain, the agony. Yeah. Um, but you know, we, we, I would certainly recommend uh, if anybody thinks about starting a podcast on any subject, mm. you know, do it because it's good fun. Do it until you no longer enjoy it, or you've yeah. spent every penny you've got, because it it really does suck a lot of money out. You know, I, I think. Oh, uh, the, oh hang the, on! Look, oh, look, hello. look, look, hello! Oh, oh John. Hello. John's, oh, John's coming! Out. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, look. Oh. Thank oh. you. Oh, look. Only rubbish um, beer, so. Do you get the poncy wine with a little plastic glass? I, I feel a little bit classy, John, <laughs> with my <laughs> plastic that. glass. Well, I've got the. We didn't have any pots. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh. Chin chin, everyone. Oh, oh. <laughs> not quite as classic. Oh, chin no. chin. Up your bottom. John, my bottom's fallen off. <laughs> It'll improve the smell. <laughs> oh, now it is like old times. Mm. Oh. oh, see, John's good for something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Isn't it nice when you know where to go and work to find the beers? That's the... Cheers, John. Cheers. And a, another peek behind the scenes, another look behind the curtain that we've already mm. peeling back. Uh, mm. John's also preparing a barbecue for after this mm. session as well. Mm. He's had he's had his meat tenderising and smoking since whew, 11 o'clock last night. Uh, midnight by the time it went midnight. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. so, so uh, as we record this, that's about 14 hours of slow cooking. That's going to be lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or it's going to be burnt to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends how long we, we rant on here. Yeah. But yeah, so what I was going to do is kind of mm. take you through kind of what the process mm-hmm. is. Um, and, you know, I'm thrilled if you guys join in as well. But kind of the, the starting process is always with a script in. And, you know, we, we mm. do a kind of like mixture of what gets scripted and what doesn't. So, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll have an outline. And obviously we've got a format for the show with, you know, the news. Yeah. And we chat a bit at the beginning. And that's evolved as well. You know, we never used to do monologues. And now, you know, if we've got a rant yeah. or we've got something that we want to get off our chest, we'll do yeah. a monologue and, for that. And I, I would say you have to script. 
Yes. Even even yeah. if it's just bullet points and things, you have to script. You shouldn't bullet point like Jen, though. Oh, God. Because Jen has got a bullet point game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 20 bullet points for you. <laughs> Jen will well, think, I, I am put... not scripting. I'm just going to put bullet, bullet points, points down. And then, but then you'll look down and there's three, three pages. pages of bullet points. <laughs> how, how long are you talking about this for, Jen? Yeah. But I just cover all the bases. It depends like, what way we go. And well, we don't always cover all of the bullet no, points. That's true. But then it's there if we it's need there. it. it... And it's key information that you need to get right. Mm. So it's numbers, wavelengths, yeah. dates, times, but you know. It's also just knowing what you're going to talk about. So you, yeah. you, you, you have to script it. Even in just very basic form the, to the times where we haven't scripted especially in those early where we went ah oh, do you know what we, then we'll just put a quick note there and then we both sort of went uh, what does that note mean yeah what are we going to actually say here it this also forces you some bollocks and to then, read yeah. more about it the it beforehand as well so yeah. that you know you've got it firm in your head rather mm, yeah. than thinking oh what was that that I read before uh, the content's not as good then and that's the longest bit actually the longest bit I find is is doing the research, is going back yeah. and going, actually, like, I've got to go and check that because I, I think I know that. I've got to, or reading the paper. So when we're doing the news, it's reading those. But even if you're just reading the little excerpts and what other people have written about it and things like that and putting, yeah. it, piecing it together, it takes time. It, it does. It takes yeah. time. And you've got to keep flicking back and going, oh, God, what was that? How much? What was the mass of that? And how far away was that? And you, you yeah. just sort of type and think, oh, God, no, I've got to go up a factor of 10. Yeah. That, yeah. that takes, that's the bit. But it's worth doing because then it makes the recording yeah. much yes. smoother. And yeah. do it on a live yeah. document as well. So we use Google Drive, but, you know, I, I think Microsoft and everybody else uh, has got their own version of it. But if you do that, it means, you know, you're, you're, mm. you're, you're writing almost together. So you know what other people are doing, what other people are writing mm. about and want to talk about, uh, especially for whoever it is that's hosting. Because, you know, of course, we rotate who it is that's hosting the podcast yeah. each yeah. month. And you, you, you want to, you know, before you start recording, know what it is that everyone's going to be talking mm. about so that you mm. can introduce them and things like that. Um, so I would say doing that is a really good idea, putting it on uh, on Google yeah. Drive or something like that, where, of course, you can also upload your audio to when you've recorded it, ready for yeah. the edits. Um, but I would also say that you don't need to spend days scripting. No. no. Like, no. me and Paul, we purposely <laughs> leave it. <laughs> Very last Purposely minute. Purposefully leave it. We leave it. For, I, I do it on purpose because oh. I used to script like days and days in advance and I would spend so much time on it. And so now I purposefully leave it last minute so that I can't, right. I don't have time and I find that it makes me more concise. It like, I know I do the I, <laughs> I'm going to say gun, I but... don't purposely, I've never scripted much in advance. <laughs> in fact, I'm quite famous for scripting Almost as we're about to record. Yeah, <laughs> you used to script on the train on the way over to yeah. the studio. Yeah, I'd be sitting on the <laughs> yeah. train scripting, going like that. Well, um, didn't mean I didn't clash with anybody because I can see what the rest of you've written. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's it's one of those things. That, you know, you know, one of those things. You think every month, you think, oh, I'm going to do that better next time. I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to find some time. I'm going to do it. And then I never do it. But would you think it would be any better just by doing it earlier? No, probably no. not. No. Probably not. I find with the intros, especially, I, I don't know how you guys feel. The intro thing is, is actually that's that's the hardest bit. Yes. Yes. Is writing the introductions that we do. Yeah. Um, but your intros are always sublime. Oh, they're far better than ours. Uh, but you know what? It. it I. Uh, even time. that really lazy one that you did, where you, you you didn't have the time to script anything, so you just pulled in the galaxy song, or you. Oh no no, that was that you... was deliberate choice. That wasn't lazy. No, that was I'm not having that. That's no, a, that was, uh, that was no, genuinely the I'm just story behind that. Cut and paste that. The story, no, genuinely, the story behind that was because I, I have this sort of week before we recording. I think, God, I've got, I've got to come up with a thing. How? What am I going to riff off? What am I going to think? Yeah, what's what's the what's the story? Mm. And I'm sitting, you know, I've got a notepad because I'm traditional like that I'm always carrying a notepad around I'm writing little things down like things down. and then quite often it's nothing I've written down but I'll just suddenly come up it'll just like a couple of hours before the show I'll go, got it got it got it got it just yeah. start and start coming that one it was just when the Ukraine war had kicked off and it was all going like the world was looking at I was like the hell do I write about yeah what the hell do I write about and it's like I don't want to completely ignore kind of the world and and just sort of do something completely off the wall that's there's nothing to do with it but i also don't want to, don't want to kind of get into the yeah. what's really on it. dark yeah. and all the, i was like i need something i need something and it's suddenly it's like i know it just it's, it's the carl sagan let's do the yeah 
And and then so that was the Carl Sagan. And then the Galaxy song, I thought, I'll just follow that. I just yeah. follow that. You know, for the yeah. next episode, I just, I'm just gonna follow that with the song. And you know what? They're the ones that um, we've had the most comments about. People <laughs> saying they love it. And I think we read a, a, a an email out about somebody who was laughing and crying in equal measure about both of those two. Yeah. And uh, you know, sometimes you just get that serendipity. And I would say that um even if, you know, someone starts up a podcast and they're only getting, you know, ten listeners, twenty listeners, fifty listeners. Um, some of the the letters that you get back is really that mm. the, the mm. thing that spurs you on and incentivizes you just to keep doing it because when you realize that you're you're touching people in some way um it's it's just so rewarding yeah. because yeah. You, you know you're just doing something that's fun um but some people you know for some people it's it's really powerful and we we've, we've, we've not mentioned this on the uh, or we might have done by the time this comes out and mentioned it on the podcast but we've been having some emails and some uh, direct messages on twitter coming in from people in ukraine yeah. who are saying yeah. That, yeah. you know this is kind of a bit of a ray of light for them mm. and you just don't feel worthy of that those kind no, of messages and, and like when we have people that have been incarcerated is it the guy the, the guy in prison yeah. um was was yeah it's really touching to yeah. the message he sent and um, yeah, so we've got, we've got, uh, we know we've got a couple of listeners um, in Kiev yeah. um, at the moment who are saying it. And Lviv, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and yeah, it, it's, you don't, you don't want to make it sort of bigger that we're some sort of a yeah, yeah. But, but it is just really rewarding that, you, you know, we spend this time doing it and it's, you know, the only reward is, is the, the kind of fun and pleasure we get from it. And yeah. then added to that, you yeah. get this kind of little, all these just nice emails and things like this. Really, get, get, actually, the old complaint. They're quite fun. Yeah. And yeah. They're, they're fun. never nasty. No, they're never no. nasty. Yeah. No, they're never nasty. I don't think we've ever had a nasty one, have we? Never. No, no. it's a fair game, you know. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't like something, tell us. Because yeah. if you don't tell us, we can't change it. No. no. So... Or we might not change it because we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> there is yeah. that as well. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was it real, real, you often say, like, my channel, my, my media, I ain't changing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we, we actually did change it, didn't we? Because... Yeah. Um, I can't remember if this was before you joined us, Jen, or since you've joined us. We started getting quite political. Because we did. We're, we're both we did. lefties. Uh, we are. In fact, I think we're all lefties, aren't we? Mm. And, um, and you know, we were getting gradually more and more annoyed with the world as it started becoming a bit more right-wing and a bit more authoritarian. And, you know, we were getting all sorts of emails. None of them nasty, just people saying, you know, cut the politics out. Mm. And, on, and we had real strong... Um, uh, views on both sides of this you know one it's about free speech but on the other hand it's about you know we are still providing a product that yeah for people yeah. Yeah. and it was really tough but in the end mm. i think we you know we compromised we our principles it on right that. down yeah. yeah i do feel it's a compromise of principles though because you know we it was our podcast we wanted it to be you know whatever we want and, to talk about and i think i think whenever we talked about it, it was it was relevant because especially when we go back without getting too political now but when we get back into that sort of early trump era especially mm. there was that that kind of attack on science basically when we look yeah. at you know, what was happening to nasa and the climate science and things mm. like that there was a direct attack on science and i think it, it was relevant to talk about we it. felt that it was yeah. it was kind of partly it was in defense of, of yeah. rationality and science and evidence and things that, that was kind of what we were actually trying to say and why we were getting so cross yeah. because clearly the world was taking a bit of a turn for the worse in that, that yeah. kind of, of, yeah. of area. I think we found a nice balance now yeah. because if it's very science-related politics, then we do talk about mm. it, but we don't yeah. dwell on it. And I think yeah. that is yeah. the nice, sweet point. Yeah. Yes, sitting I think so. at. And I think we yeah. used to, didn't we? Because we'd do introductions that were political and then we'd yeah. be harping back into it in yeah. the news and everything. And I think it's mm. supposed to be a space podcast, yeah. an astronomy podcast. Mm. And so mm. I, I don't think it would ever feel right for any of us to be completely politically neutral. But no, I think no. now we, we sit at this happy I, little point. I don't think anyone can be politically neutral. No. No. no it's not no. possible. No. And especially in something as, as serious as some of the things that we have talked about, you know, climate science being being a prime example yeah. and yeah. some of the stuff with that. Um, but we've also had that 180 degree um, evolution, if you like, of when Jim Bridenstine came into NASA and we were vehemently opposed oh, yeah, to that yeah, yeah, because yeah. he was a climate denier. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and, you know, he, with what he did with um, Project Artemis and, and he was a fantastic NASA administrator and, yeah, you know, came definitely. around on climate science as well because yeah. the evidence was undeniable. And, you know, we you know we were more than happy to eat our hat on that one. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And we've eaten our hat on various occasions. Musk yeah. being a, a prime example. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we produce new hats to eat on that one regularly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's fun. That's part of the, yeah. the, the kind of 
Um, That's become a bit of a theme, isn't it? The sort yeah. Of the, the eating eating of muscat. But you know, he's also an arsehole. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, going back to politics again, you know, yeah. you, you have to separate the man from <laughs> from his his politics, especially at the moment while he's buying Twitter and you know the way that is. But or is he? Know, or is he? Or is he? Uh, yeah, is there a conspiracy he? theory? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> apparently, he's, he's not now, or he might not. He might be, not be. No, yeah. 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 it's a bit on the fence. Yeah. But one thing, you know, especially when you are touching on things which are very current, is you have to make sure that you record close yes. to the release date. Yes. We've been caught out on that a few times. Yes, especially when we oh. used to do the recording two episodes yeah, at yeah. once and then releasing it two weeks later because the Space Exploration show, so the second one, would be two weeks out of date. Yeah. And we've had some emails actually saying, oh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't well, put this story I, I in. Think, yeah. I think the thing that there was a it was a Twitter exchange that wasn't us. It wasn't actually with us. It was some people. I, we noticed it. And I think that's what spurs on to do it as a, a separate episode. Yeah, we now record. There was, there was some people going, yeah. does it sound like they recorded this ages ago? Yeah, we're like, <laughs> and, then, oh, and then we're having this rumbled. conversation. Oh. <laughs> it's Gavin Price, actually. I did, hello, Gavin. Um, <laughs> it's Gavin Price. They're like, does it sound like this was recorded a couple of weeks ago? And it was like, mm. yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but I noticed it in the in the kind of Twitter feed. It, was, it wasn't even yeah. kind of at us. It was, it was, yeah. a it was just of in the ether. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, we probably should try and record it. Because it, oh, yeah. we, we have this, this uh, thing where it's sod's law a big thing will always come out the day after we yes. record it the number yeah. and even we yeah. have turned off the mics we've pressed stop we're uploading to the google drive literally that and moment literally yeah. a new story breaks and we're like oh god damn because the thing is we can't record sort of the day before we release because you yeah. need time to edit yeah. and put it together and actually get it to all the different services and there has been a couple of times where the story's been so big we actually have basically opened opened yeah. the can up again and slotted yeah. it in ever we've gone we've like, Do you know to. we've got to yeah. record that because yeah. yeah and hopefully it's been seamless <laughs> most of the time but but it has happened yeah. where we've got like ah, do you know what? we can't ignore that story we yeah we need to actually yeah. kind of record so that, always but... prepare for a lovely news story to break around the 27th of the month <laughs> and around the 12th of the month <laughs> definitely yeah. Because uh, that's when we're recording, and inevitably NASA or ESO, like yeah. someone yeah. drops something. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a good point actually about when you record, because you, what you want to do is record as close as possible to your release date. But you've also got, you know, you've got to factor in time to edit, which you know Dustin helps us out with a phenomenal amount now. Um, hi, Dustin. And yeah. um, and you know, if you've got it syndicated to other streaming services, you've got to get it over to them as well. So there's and so there's a, a lot of things mm. that you've got to get ready for uh, for releasing things. That means mm. that you can't record it right at the last minute, but then you're just hoping in that window, you know, maybe a day or two that you know nothing does break. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go back and record it or just make yeah. an editorial decision that uh, we'll cover it next time. I say it, it, it's particularly. It doesn't matter. The astronomy one doesn't matter too much because astronomy, unless it's such a really big story. But the astronomy episode, I find even if the story's broken, it's like, oh, oh we'll do that next month because actually there'll be yeah. some more information, like more data will have come out. It'll be be more interesting. Yeah, it's the space one that's the really difficult one, isn't it? That the that's the one, that like yeah. because because it, rockets are so kind of immediate and that you know, if it's yeah. like blows up or something happens or you know some yeah uh, you know. Musk. If Exo Mars smashes into Mars or a dragon capsule burns, a month up later, in the it, it's a dead story. It's yeah. It's, yeah. it's moved on completely. It, it's it's you know car crash stuff yeah. basically, and um, and that's the one where we often have to kind of basically open up the recording again and go, oh, but better record yeah. something like that because we can't ignore the fact it, that it's also more in the in the public consciousness as yeah. well, and, and in in the you know the, the wider public press that mm. you know to, to not talk about something that you know all the all the papers and the TV channels are talking about mm. is. You know, it's going to be seen as a bit remiss when you know this is yeah. our raison d'etre and it's all we talk about. Yeah, it's really hard. That is, yeah. It is really hard. The, the, actually, the news is is it sounds like everything's really hard. You're saying, oh, actually, this is really hard. But actually, getting getting when I sort of think about it, picking this news stories is quite difficult. Yeah, because you have to strike that balance between mm. doing yep. stories that everyone expects us to cover because they're high profile and in the news. But then we also like to highlight stories which haven't been covered. Yeah. Yeah, completely. You know? And it's and it's finding the ones which are people are going to find interesting, yeah. and then also you have to keep tabs on what's already been covered, so that if there's an update, we can return to it and, and yeah. provide that update. So there's a lot that you have to be on it, sort of all the time. You do, you do. It's it's that um, I'd like think about the last episode we recorded. Actually, we had a nice. I thought we had a nice mix of um, stuff that was. You, you would not have read you wouldn't would have seen it, it was in journals and unless you were an astronomer yeah. and actually you, you kind of you would have missed it completely but also the big stuff there was you know that, that kind of big stories and and 
um, that, that yeah. very long after we had about the decadal stuff, which was yeah. in the news and things like that, and people talked about. Yeah. So it's getting that balance right, and that, that can be different. Sometimes I think we we do get it wrong. You get that kind of, it's all stories that nobody's ever heard of, and you think, of actually, are they going to be interested in half this stuff? Yeah. Or it's all the popular stuff that actually everyone's already heard about, and they yeah. think, yeah. oh, we well, haven't anything new. We're yeah. not, yeah. It's, it's a difficult balance sometimes. Yeah. And then when uh, on this, if you're watching this as a video on this medium, there's that added um, consideration of are you going to generate something that is just here and now in the moment that while mm. we're still quite a new YouTube channel and the majority of our probably about 90% of the people that are watching this are people that have transferred over from the podcast. So, you know, they're kind of fans of the audio um, medium. They're, they want all the astronomy content and the, the hard astronomy content, particularly the stuff that we've been putting out yeah. recently of Jen's talks at Astro Camp. But we also want to make sure that we've got the growth in the channel as well, bringing in new audiences with mm, kind of mm. like um, things that are a bit more generalist. And then we want a bit of evergreen content in there so that it's not you know redundant in a month's time or a yeah. year's time so that there's still things that people can come back to and learn that you know someone wants to know why the sky's blue, it just pops up and, and they can see that and, and get that. So there's all sorts of different considerations mm. on YouTube as well, apart from the fact that you know I was flippantly saying earlier about you know makeup. But also, you know, you got to make sure that you, your hair's got to look good before you before you go <laughs> yeah. on camera, and you've got to, um, you know, you've, you've got to make sure that your eyes aren't moving when you're reading an auto cue, and you know, there's yeah. all sorts of different considerations when across the different medias, mediums, and but yeah, if anyone's thinking of doing YouTube, the auto cue is a revelation <laughs> because up until today, this is the first time I've tried the auto cue, and I have been like memorizing yeah, same, the script. Same, same. Yeah, uh, and oh god, the time well, it takes. You, you guys have been the video people. I've done a couple. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the reasons I haven't been able to do many one at a time with working things, but actually the setup time. If you yes. haven't got an auto cue, trying to get the camera set up and the lighting, yeah. and then and then bits of paper with script on kind of yeah. dotted around you know, and, you're, and then you're trying to think I can't look down and read that because everyone will see me looking down yep. and reading it yeah. you're, you're looking at yourself in the camera and thinking shit that's, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work that's rubbish um, and yeah that's a revelation yeah uh, but you don't need to worry about edits on YouTube that's another thing that you know if you fluff a line and go back and start it again there are jump cuts in, in YouTube and it's kind of expected that it jumps around and mm. it's a much kind of faster yeah. more fluid mm. medium and um, so that that's quite you know that's quite all right but the um where was i going to go with that uh, 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 uh. this happens a lot in the podcast we do that we do we, we, we start we start just doing like, I, I don't know where we're going with that yeah. you don't you and don't we might leave this in i might have just edited that out because on yeah. youtube you can do it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean um youtube just t does take a, a lot more time to do um and you know until you start getting into the you know the thousands of views which we you know we haven't got there yet um well, hopefully we'll have by the time this comes out but you know you, you do wonder like in the early days of starting a podcast is it worth it for mm. the effort that goes into it and it is only by you know the comments that you get that people put on um mm. these medium or they email you or the fact that your audience does grow that you know you do get that reward to make you think it's worthwhile continuing yeah. and yeah. It's, it's interesting having gone through that with the podcast and now we've got tens of thousands of uh, listeners for that uh, every month that you know we don't worry about you know what's the audience figures like Whereas on YouTube, we're going through that journey that we went on yeah, on the podcast right 10 years meeting. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, every few days you're sort of checking, how many subscribers have we got? And <laughs> yeah. like, you're sending us screenshots yeah. of like you know, the number of watches with different videos yeah. and stuff like that. And, and every yeah. time another one of your articles comes out or every time <laughs> a, uh, you're on TV, the, the it jumps up. <laughs> yeah, it jumps yeah. up. No, I, I, of course, like looking at how many subscribers we got now. How many subscribers? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. That's all right, that's all right. Which we used to do with the podcast a lot. We used to do when yes. it used to, we get that data and you're just like, you'll be sending you're us the grass. Hungry. For it. Yeah, like, look, 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 we had yeah. a big spike. We've got, we've got more people this month. We've got, more... um, and now uh, we, we've got millions, millions of people. Yeah, listen, there's... oh yeah, <laughs> that's... Well, well, we've certainly no, got it's... a couple of million downloads since we've been going. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, wasn't didn't it surpass four million downloads in total? I feel like that, that was, was a that number was a few months ago, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 which is yeah. So which crazy. is an astonishing. Crazy. But what it means is, is you don't need that validation anymore. You no, know, you're not looking for is yeah. the content yeah. worthwhile. Well, we're saying if you don't yes. care about our podcast audience anymore, <laughs> you're all right. Yeah. You guys are <laughs> fine. You're looking after yourselves. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Actually, the real validation is the emails. You know, when yeah. people send you stuff in, you know yeah. that you are either connecting yeah. with people or they don't like what you're doing. And you know, you try and tread that fine line of mm. what you want mm. to put out as content versus what people are telling you about what they like or not. 
Because podcasting and YouTube, it is not necessarily like you're going to make loads of money. Some people do. Some they people do, do make a do. lot of money from it. But you can't go into it thinking, I'm going to get rich off the back of this. You've got to do it for the love. And yeah. we say this all the time on the podcast, and mm-hmm. we do do it for the love. We reassure know? ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're like, is it? Yeah. But it does. I it's, just wish it's... one of us was was good at marketing. <laughs> because, you know, we probably could make money off the podcast, yeah. but none of us are any good at that stuff. I know. <laughs> no. No. God, no. No. So if there is anyone who's really good at marketing <laughs> and is a yes. listener for the podcast and wants if to you like... make us loads of money, you can have a cut. Yeah, it's make fine. us some moolah. We'll give you a percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so what has been your favourite moments then? Now we've we sort of gone through how oh. you would make it. What's been your favourite moments, funny moments? What's the big moments? My app, I think what? the moment for me that encompasses all the feelings... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. ...is the elephant it's trunk the elephant. <laughs> So this was not long after I'd started on the podcast, wasn't we were, it? I we don't were, think. We were quite mean, really. Yeah, and something had cropped up, and so I hadn't had time to script my Sky Guide part of the astronomy episode. Mm. It might have even only been one episode at that point. And I was like, oh, please, throw me a bone. Please, can you, like, just script it for me? And I was doing, like, the deep sky objects. So we and, did. So, yes. we, so we scripted it. Yeah, they were very, oh, like... We had a lot. Yeah. Just here. Just, just here. Just, we were here because you'd said, yeah. like, I haven't had time to script it. We were sitting here just at the desk yeah. and we just scripted it with John John was part of the John mm. John was actually the, the main guy he was the main guy who did it <laughs> is it John I see you no no mm. I, 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 it was, no. It was, it was mainly us <laughs> <laughs> and if if you've not heard this it's worth going and actually there are uh, sinewy parts veiny, veiny parts, veiny parts. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, I have never ever not scripted, oh. so I learned my it lessons worked. since then. It worked, it worked. You've yeah, scripted. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, there's, just there's some cracking so. um, outtakes from that. Yeah, which, and it was yeah. oh god, it was just yeah. all the feelings because I was like, oh my god, what am I reading? <laughs> And then just the hilarity, because I think I had to record it about four times because yeah. everyone was just laughing. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and before you think we're bullying Jet, we do this to each other yeah. Oh, yeah. all the time. In fact, just in the last, the last recording <laughs> that we did. It. Yeah. You spotted yeah. it. So it was we... a team effort, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it so was, I'm normally uh... like Ron Burgundy. If it's in front of me, I'll read it. So it's like, <laughs> he does. Hold he does. He on. completely yeah. reads out anything. <laughs> but you spotted it. Yeah. I know. I no, didn't get right now. You don't usually spot them. Yeah, I was in home territory. I was at home. I was in my studio. Yeah, you spotted it. But you don't often don't. No, uh, that it makes for good good yeah. comedy. That so, so what's what's your high or low that you want to pick out? Oh, it's really difficult. There's been so many. There's been so many episodes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, how many episodes have we actually done? Well, we're on Hundreds. episode 119, but, but we but do two and there's two all and the extras, extras and, for the last and five then there's years been interviews. And, yeah. and there's and probably about 400. There's hundreds. Also. Um. Anything where we we absolutely fall about laughing is always brilliant. Yeah. There's there's and there's there's lots of that. Yeah. And there's there are particular episodes where we just screw up really royally and we're just cracking up and it it takes us like twenty minutes to get through a paragraph because nobody can get it right. Yeah. Early for me was where I couldn't say a firecus <laughs> and I just merrily just was going on. I've got this theory about difficult words. I just throw myself into it and whatever word comes out is the <laughs> word that comes out. I decided, it's so long ago that I wouldn't play around with like, how, how, do, you, how do you pronounce that? Like, Every ball, episode, that's what I'm like. I'm like how it. do we say this? Just throw yourself into it. Nine times out of ten, you'll probably be about right. What was that one? The fuckers complex. And I call it the fuckers complex. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, ten, just and the fuckers complex. <laughs> <laughs> we were killing ourselves <laughs> laughing. So there'd be two minutes there, like, that's not right. <laughs> um, so that there was that one, and I always the Al Warden interview. Oh, just it was was glorious. One, oh. it was a, actually a brilliant interview, and it was really funny. I, I'm really sad that I wasn't part of oh, this. Yeah. This was before was my time. Before, I mean. And it, yeah. there was just for a bit of background. So for anyone yeah, that's not yeah. familiar, Al Warden was the. Um, uh, command module pilot on Apollo 15 so he he went around the moon with the Apollo 15 crew he didn't go down onto the surface but he stayed in the, the command module the lunar module um and um uh and we got the opportunity to interview him at the at, at, uh, comic-con conference in manchester yeah, didn't yeah. we and cosmic Con. Cos- cosmic, cosmic con, con. cosmic yes. con yeah and it was brilliant. He, he was actually very funny. He was very entertaining. He was great. Legend. And, and I can see what he's, he's well loved in, yes. the, in the kind of astro spacey community. He's, he's kind of one of the, the kind of really loved people. Um, but 
there was this moment at one point, and, and we'd asked him about what it was like to be alone in the dark of the moon, looking out into space and things like that. And it's almost like a little switch had gone in his head, and it completely fried his mind. And he looked straight at Ralph and said, do you read the Bible? Now, if you know Ralph, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? asking Ralph, do you read the Bible? <laughs> so, I mean, How did, what did you do? Well, I think did I Did you just tell said, the truth? You just, no, saw, you just looked at it and went, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a scolded yeah. school child. Like, <laughs> no. And... And and then he goes off on this thing about uh, the whole numerology starting, yeah. wasn't it? And, you know, and why are there twelve disciples? Why are there twelve jurors? The, yeah, and, and all the yeah. rest of it. And it's like the moon lander, and there's, there's people that land on the moon, and, and it evolves into the humanity, and all the rest of it. And he he sort of goes off on this massive conspiracy theory, um, and then he starts dissing evolution and yeah. things like that, and that it shouldn't be taught, and all. And, there was and this, humans have got alien DNA. And, and when he says that, there's a moment you can hear in the recording where there, there was me, there was Ralph, there was. John was there and Damien was there. Yeah. And I think we all simultaneously breathed in really hard. It's like the air pressure in the room yeah. drops. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can literally hear the air I'm pressure. I'm surprised going, we didn't shatter the windows <laughs> in the room. Like, no, we all just like, four of us going like, oh, where do we go from here? And also because, you know, which, which you know, is, is the guy's a hero as yeah. well. So it's like, you know, we don't want to offend the guy, but he's clearly talking nuts. And we're all, you know, flawed at this moment. And, you know, it's that thing of, you know, oh, no, yeah, you shouldn't meet your heroes. And, and it was completely. like, oh, no. How are we going to continue with this? this? But how do we get it back onto something that's non-contentious? Because it had some really, we had really, really like fun interview. Really like good really talk. great stories yeah. and anecdotes. I think suddenly we're talking about this guy. Like, I don't believe in, in, in evolution. It shouldn't be taught. And all yeah. like, it's like, the, You're like no, oh, but not just yeah. that. I mean, you know, there's lots of people across America that don't believe in evolution. Yeah. You know, it's your right not to believe in it. It's wrong, but it's not. It's your right to. But, you know, it then starting to talk about uh, human aliens um, having bred together yeah, thousands yeah, of yeah. years ago and how we've all got alien DNA in us and all this oh, numerology it, 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 it around, you know, star just, children and, and, and listening, because you were leading the interview and listening to you trying to steer the interview back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> is this all in the release? The of, well, when you say alien DNA, do you mean like panspermia? Pans you did, yes, yes, yes. John, yeah. Tried to get it on yes, track of that. Yes, you did. You tried to get him onto panspermia and say, oh, you mean panspermia? And he, he, he was like, he just went, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, is I'm, all of this in the released interview? No, I don't think we did, just because we didn't want it to reflect badly on him. But I think yeah. we, we probably did, we got the We put some in, because I remember we did a comment, because we talked about it for ages. We have our... Our back channel, our Kushner back channel, where we, we talk about kind of the script and what we should do and mm. editing decisions, which is another big thing of podcasting, actually, is that all those yeah. little edits, because yeah. you record stuff and then you reflect on, you think, actually, probably shouldn't put that out. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, 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 you talk nonsense, you tell jokes and things like that, and you think, actually, that's probably a bit close to the wind. Yeah. That's not... Could it harm someone's reputation? Could it harm one of our own reputations? Yeah, yeah, Could it, exactly. you know, cause problems for whoever it is that you're interviewing if you yeah. put out something, you yeah. know, uh, that they wouldn't be happy with? So you, we have to have all these kind of conversations. And and that one, I remember we had a conversation where we said, actually, yeah. we're going to make a con. We've got to say at the beginning of this interview, actually, there's there's some stuff in here that he says that we don't agree with. That actually, yeah. he, did, he did go off on this this kind of weird thing. And we wanted to make it clear, it's like, this is not something we kind of believe yeah. or kind of agree with him. But yeah, that, that was one of my favorite. Well, actually, that whole series of interviews, we did, we, we did a whole bunch of astronauts. And I that think was, we interviewed about five people. It uh, was exhausting. It was. You know, just interviewing one people the one yeah, after yeah. the other. All people that, you know, you, are, you feel so privileged to be speaking to and having that conversation uh, with. They were all fantastic interviews. Yeah. Really, yeah. really. Uh, Jack, Jack Lausman, uh, yeah, a guy. what a guy! I'm literally about to say that the George Jack Lausman, it was just he was fantastic. Yeah. That was my favorite favorite interview I think we've ever done. And you know because it, he wasn't he was an Apollo astronaut, but it wasn't until the shuttle or Skylab that he, he he got into guy. space. Yeah, so it kind of it wasn't as exciting for me as speaking to the people that had, that had gone out to the moon. Mm. But then. Just force of personality, it was, he was just the just, most entertaining. Oh, nice he was guy. brilliant! Really, really nice guy. But yeah, that, that's that's my. I think yeah. that's my. What, what What's about yours? You? I, th I've got it's a couple. Me really, is no. It's me joining the podcast. <laughs> of course, I number just one. Drink. I'm just, I'm just number two my... is Bino, but I win. <laughs> uh, mine. He my has favorite. Bino's phone number. I do have Bino's phone number. Uh, oh no, we're recording on my phone, so we can't. <laughs> oh, that's another point as well. Don't don't if you if you do want to start doing YouTube, don't buy expensive cameras and video cameras. No. 4K video cameras. Just use your iPhone. The cameras on them are fantastic. Mm. You just need 4K and you know maybe an Apple too. But 
just use that but yeah Bino uh, wonderful interview in Bino you know I was just beaming from ear to ear yeah. and Bino um, is Alan Bean Alan Bean the fourth man to walk on the moon um, he's his hero my hero he's his hero but I think actually going to Surrey Satellites was that was, was I've forgotten that point. that was see, this is not Pre-you. Yeah. This is pre-you. Oh, pre- you do all the fun, pre- all the fun stuff. And then I come yeah. along, like a little fun sponge. And, and then, you don't do anything. You do. And then, and then you bring your COVID with you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stay at home. Well, we fault. didn't have COVID before you yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clearly, clearly. It's causality. my fault. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, yeah, we just should... going around the labs and seeing what they were working on. You mm. know, everything's from like we've seen solar sails that have now gone into space, and we were seeing all the technologies that they're doing to try and clean up space, yeah, as well yeah. as the satellites that they've worked on to launch in space. And sorry, satellites have gone on. I think purely because of our attendance. Oh there. yeah, yeah, I think they've I gone think... on to become a massive. Uh, again, we should have, we should have a cut because clearly yeah. they were nothing before we turned nothing up. Nothing before and, we turned up. And our session there. Yeah. But that was that was a really good visit. That, yeah. that, I really enjoyed that. That was, yeah, that was, was really really good fascinating. Fun. I would like now that COVID is fingers crossed winding down to do more trips. Yeah, and interviews yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, obviously we haven't been able to do it for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should. Yeah, we need some away days. We need some mm. away days. We do. Where would you like us to go? Dear yes, listener, that's a good question. Or watcher. Mm. Where would you like us to go? Where, Who do you where... want us to talk to? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which interviews would you like to uh, to see? I can't promise anything, but no. what you tell us. Tell us yeah. what it is you're interested in. I've got to say, I'm so gutted that when we did all those astronaut interviews that we didn't have a camera running because it would have been wonderful yeah. to release yeah. those as videos, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Although, although the lens would have popped out on the phone when we all breathed in. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think that brings us to the end yeah. of our behind the scenes of awesome astronomy for YouTube and podcasts. I just so, hope it's not been too self indulgent. We've enjoyed it. I hope you yeah. have too. Yeah. And, and you're going to go, we're going to do a little tour of the studio and things, aren't we? Yeah. Gonna, gonna, yes. gonna, yeah. Gonna, that might have already been in the show. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, it's like the, the wonder it of have, editing. It might have yeah. to be an after now. Yeah. yeah well, you, you, well, maybe I've just <laughs> made that editorial decision for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I haven't, and this is you know, and that, that's how flexible. We I hope have you to enjoyed be. it earlier on. Or coming up now, <laughs> who, knows? who knows? Maybe, maybe we split it in two. Yeah, a little bit now, a little bit later. So when we're recording remotely, we have Dustin to do all of our editing. But when we're in the studio, we have the man, the myth, the legend. That is John. This is the mysterious John. You've heard his dulcet tones. The little voice in the box. Yeah. Yes. This is. John, and he is our ooh, sound guru. Sound engineer. Yeah. Yeah, smart. Yeah. So while we're in the box over there, which is where we're isolated, sound booth, you know, nice and, well. Kept, kept away from me. Yeah, I was going to say locked away, right? I think that's the right way to put For it. For very good reasons. John is out here mixing the decks. So what do you yeah. actually do? Um, Actually, when you're recording, it's really quite easy. I just sit and listen to the audio and keep telling people that they're not talking to the microphones. But I guess you have a lot of pre-setup stuff, right? That's yes. where most of your work goes. Yeah, it's all about mic positioning and get levels right. Um, and as you, we've got this lovely control service, but we, we only use four of the channels. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's quite a large bit of kit for what we, we use it for, and in all honesty, for what our studio mainly gets used for. Mm. Uh, we tend to do a lot of voiceover work which is how it works so well for doing the podcast. Mm. Um, yeah, so we, we, we have four little faders down this end, which is here. nicely labelled uh, for who's doing what, so I know who's not talking loudly enough. And then up on the monitors, are those our voices? Is that our audio tracks? Are you making sure that we're not um, you know, going too high and we're not sort of fuzzying out at the yeah. limits? Yeah, the, these are your waveforms. Um, mm. As you can see, yeah, so long as it, it's really compressed on that because you take such a long time to do it. Um, <gasps> no, <clears throat> normally, you'd have two or three minute snippets, so you know, have nice big waveforms. You can make sure everything's mm. all as it should be. But uh, as our recordings tend to be one shot for an hour or two. Um, Everything gets squeezed so I can see that it's all sort of behaving properly. Yeah. 
And then, you know, you interject with yourself sometimes. Every now and again, my, my little magic box here that I shout into, um, there's no microphone in it, that is just a button. Um, but it seems really weird to press a button and not talk into it, the microphone's yeah, actually yeah. on the desk. <laughs> Um, you can't help it. Yeah, no, yeah. I still find myself doing that, even though I, I know <laughs> that it's over there. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, everybody does it. And it <laughs> even I find myself thinking, yeah. what are you doing? Um, but yeah, that that's how my little, my little voice appears in the background. You know. <laughs> You're sounding like... Um, yes, that's, that's the magic of that bit. Um, and all of this is connected to our little tower computer there via the audio interfaces down there. Um, some people might find this interesting. Lots of people just go, oh, it's a bunch of wires and some boxes, uh, which it, that's all it is nowadays. Yeah. It's all magic. Uh, it's all noughts and ones. It's not anything proper. In the good old days, we had tape and we had to splice and cut things up and physically leave things on the cutting room floor but now it's all digital it's just a few clicks and Dustin does oh, it all wouldn't anyway that be, wouldn't that be cool? Dustin does it uh, just to have like <laughs> towers of your know, reels just our audio from over the years yeah Gah. but all, all, of, all of your little um, mistakes and uh, <laughs> things that we keep for Christmas would just be scattered all over the floor and I have to put them back together yeah. again <laughs> So, uh, yeah, non-destructive so editing uh, yeah. is uh, the way forward. This is easier, yeah. Nothing's ever really gone, ever. Yeah. Everything you've said. It's all there. <laughs> Everything, viewers. All of it. So, when we're at home in COVID times, this is what we're recording on. But then when we're in the studio, our equipment is a little, just a touch more sophisticated. So tell us about the headphones and the microphones, John. Well, you say sophisticated. It's the same, really, just bigger. Um, <laughs> because of where I work, I have access to a huge range of microphones, uh, which we can go and have a look at in a minute or two if you want, uh, for the real nerds out there. Uh, but yeah, I've just grabbed three reasonable quality, fairly large diaphragm microphones. Um, large diaphragms are good for close voice work they've got a much better dynamic range mm -hmm. um then smaller microphones like the one that i'm wearing at the minute um and they're all fed into our little patch box down here which has a little cable that goes through a hole in the wall a tiny hole in the wall so we can't hear them when we've got the door shut um that all goes into those little racks that you saw before um it's turned into mm. digital audio and then edited and that's about it. That's and when we're dusting. not, yeah. And then when we're not YouTubing, we have the discs to stop the the pa 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 the yes, popping. Yes, your pop shields. Yeah. Which you would have had today, but it didn't work aesthetically for the video. No, because it was just disc in front of our faces like that, which doesn't work for YouTube. So it'll be interesting to see if it works really well without them. And we've just been wasting our time all these years positioning all of these. Days. No, John's like, no, it's going to be horrendous. No. It would be fine, it just won't be quite as good as it could be. But the sacrifices I make for video. Uh, <laughs> says the sound engineer. Says the sound engineer, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah I don't do video, which is why I hide behind the scenes and you never hear me. Um, yeah, and then we've got a lot of feeds back for all your headphones, mm. so you can all sit and hear what each other are saying. And we spend a surprising amount of time going, Ralph's too loud. Paul's too loud. Yes. Jen's too loud. And I spend a lot of time with the mouse just going, is that better? Yeah. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> Half the time I'm not touching anything. I'm just... <laughs> You're like, no, your secret's out now. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> it's much better, isn't it? Good. There we go. And this is where I have my selection of microphones. Um, depending on what we're doing, um, I come into our, our little stock room and... Uh, pick up what I fancy. Um, we've got a couple of mics like that for uh, that we use at Astro Camp. Uh, Ralph wants to go retro and do his Elvis impressions. We've got some uh, some classic style. Um, but I tend to live more around the uh, large condenser. Uh, for studio work, something that's nice and big that picks up voices quite clearly. Um, yeah, it's all dependent on what we're doing really. But uh, yeah, this is where I have a sort of carte blanche of 
I'll see what's in and uh, decide what I want to play with that week. But remember, you can always leave your comments on the YouTube channel. You can email us at the show at awesomeastronomy.com. And we're also on Twitter at Awesome Astropod. We're on Facebook as well, aren't we? But who uses that anymore? No, we don't. Yeah. no one uses that. Anymore. No, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so from Sidonia Base, it's goodbye from Sidonia. I should, I should have that pat by now, shouldn't yeah. I? <laughs> yeah, come on, I, come on. How many episodes only, have you been? Only four hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah, I'll sign this it. out. You do it. Do for the Christmas outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, it's goodbye from Sidonia, Sidonia Base. Bye. One take. One, <laughs> one take. take. Yeah, one take. <laughs>